Hello friends, my name is Ankur Shupta here in the Gate Coach, India's best chemical engineering institute for gate coaching. And today we are here to discuss the detailed solutions for some of the questions which appeared in the Gate 2019 chemical engineering exam. Okay, and uh, hopefully all of you did the best in your exam and now focusing for your results. Okay. So, there are four or five questions we got from the CRE section from the students based on their memory. So, we will discuss the solutions, the approach for those questions. Okay, maybe data can differ, but obviously these are memory based. So, first question which was in the exam was that there was a series reaction given A gives B. B gives C and the rate constants were K1, K2 where K1 was 0.4 minute inverse and K2 was 0.1 minute inverse. Operating in a MFR, so you have to calculate the yield of product B at T max and it is also given that C A naught is equal to 2 mole per liter and the yield of B was given as moles of B formed to the moles of A reacted, basically total moles of A reacted into 100, that is the percentage yield, ok. So as we can see here, this is first order series reaction followed by first order and for such reactions operating in MFR to get Cb max Tomax can be calculated as 1 over square root of K1, K2, okay. And this was one of the basic question which we also discussed in our classes and maybe you can find the video of this topic on the YouTube channel, on our YouTube channel as well, the gate coach videos, okay. So from this equation when you put the values, K1 is 0 0.4, K2 is 0 0.1, you will get Tomax is equal to 5 minutes. From the units of K, it was clear this is first order reaction, okay. And now we have to calculate yield. So here yield of B, percentage yield of B will become moles of B form that is final moles of B minus initial moles of B over moles of A reacted that is initial moles of A minus final moles of A. So if we divide this expression by volume it will become concentration of B minus concentration of B initially over concentration of A initially minus concentration of A into 100 for constant volume reaction system. So basically percentage yield of B will become Cb over Ca0 minus Ca into 100. So now we have to calculate the value of Ca and Cb at Tomax equal to 5 minutes, okay, which we can calculate by doing the mole balance over component A and component B. <coughs> so here over component A mole balance will be, what is the mole balance equation? If all of you remember, moles balance equation is moles of A in is equal to moles of A out plus moles of A accumulated plus moles of A disappeared minus moles of A generated. This is the general mole balance equation. 
so here in case of MFR we are feeding component A and we are getting component A, B and C ok if the molar volumetric flow rate is V0 and their concentrations are respectively this then molar rate of A in will be V0 into C A0 for constant volume reaction system molar rate of A out will be V0 into C A MFR is a flow reactor which operates at a steady state so molar rate of A accumulation will be 0 molar rate of A disappearance will be minus RA into V <coughs> where V is the volume of reaction mixture in the tank minus molar rate of A generation that is 0. So, here you can write V over V naught is equal to C A naught minus C A over minus R A where V by V naught can be represented as space time tau. So, when you put the values tau is equal to C A naught minus C A over minus R A for first order reaction C A will be K 1 C A R A will be K 1 C A here ok. So, now it is clear that C A will be equal to C A naught over 1 plus tau K 1. So, when you put the values C A naught is 2, tau is 5, K 1 is 0 0.4 you will get C A is equal to Zero point mole per liter. Okay. Similarly, over when you do the mole balance to find out C B, molar rate of B in will be zero because B is the product and we are feeding only A in the reactor. Molar rate of B out will be V naught into C B minus accumulation will plus accumulation will be 0 B is disappearing here it is clear but we will consider that as 0 because we can include the disappearance of B in its generation term that is rate of formation of B per unit volume will become K 1 C A minus K 2 C B because we have already included included this disappearance part disappearance part in the generation term so we don't need to mention it again and the molar rate of b generation can be represented by this expression okay so here v over v not cb over rb which is cb over k1 ca minus k2 cb and this part can be represented as tau so, when you solve it and put all the values, tau is 5, Cb we have to calculate, K1 is 0 0.4, Ca is 0 0.667 minus K2 is 0 0.1 into Cb. When you solve this, you will get Cb is equal to 0 0.889 mole per liter. Okay. So, now put those values in this expression. So, you will get percentage yield of B as Cb that is 0 0.889 over Ca0 that is 2, Ca that is 0 0.667 into 100 and this value will be 66.67 percent. that is the answer ok a very basic problem one of the simplest problem there was one more question uh, for a non ideal reactor the C curve was given and you have to calculate the mean conversion using segregation model these were the values C A naught was given 
as 2 mole per liter. Reaction was 2A gives R, 2A gives S, K1 is equal to 0 0.2 liter per mole per second and K2 was given as 0 0.3 liter per mole per second because this was the elementary reaction. So, means second order reaction. So, here you can see minus Ra will become K1 Ca square plus K2 Ca square or you can write it as K1 plus K2 times of Ca square which will become 0 0.5 Ca square. And you have to calculate the mean conversion and the mean conversion using segregation model can be calculated as this where ET is the exit age function and ET can be cal calculated as CT over using C curve. Okay. So, ultimately the mean conversion can be written as this where this expression represents the area of C curve. Okay. So, here it is clear that area of this curve which is will be 1 by 2 into 6 into 5 that is 15. Okay. So, ultimately we have to calculate C t for this range and this range because slope is changing we can see. So, we have to divide this curve into two parts and the value of C t will be 5 t for this range and value of C t will be 6 minus t for this range which you can calculate with the help of a straight line equation. Like if we consider this expression, let us say these points are x1, y1, these points are x2, y2 and the straight line equation connecting two points can be written as y minus y1 equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 times of x minus x1. Okay. So, here if you put the value C t y1 is 0 y2 minus y1 will be 5 minus 0, x2 minus x1 will be 1 minus 0 into yx minus x1 that is t minus 0. So, ct will be 5t for this time range. Similarly, you can calculate ct for this time range as well. Okay? And when you put the values here, this function will break will split into two parts like x a bar will become integration from 0 to 1 x a into c 1 t d t plus integration from 1 to 6 x a into c 2 t d t over integration from 0 to 6 C T D T <coughs> and what is X A here? So, it is clear that this is second order reaction and we know that for second order reaction X A can be written as K C A naught T over 1 plus K C A naught T. Okay. So, when you put the values here X A will be 0 0.5 into C A naught that is 2 into T over 
1 plus 0 0.5 into 2 into t that is t upon 1 plus t. Okay, so just put this value of x a here and you will get your answer. So it will be c1 t is 5 t, x a will be t upon 1 plus t into c1 which is 5 t integration from 0 to 1 plus integration from 1 to 6 x a that is t upon 1 plus t into c to t which is 6 minus t dt over area of this curve that is 15. So, when you solve this expression you will get x a bar is equal to 0 0.6464. So, that is how you can calculate the mean conversion for second order reaction using segregation model. What is segregation model? Segregation model first thing this question was this topic segregation model is not a part of your syllabus. Okay. If we can see the syllabus segregation model is not there. Okay. But in non ideal reactors if question was there so we have to solve and based on segregation model we can say if we have a reactor like suppose if we have a MFR this is the entire volume of this MFR so segregation model says that this entire volume into small, small globules or you can consider them as a small small batch reactor and suppose if this globule enters in this tank and now it will leave this time spent by the globule in the tank it will be the residence time okay and for that time period you can consider that one globule as a batch reactor okay so we will divide entire volume into small small globules and we will calculate the conversion of every globule based on the its residence time and ultimately we will find out the mean conversion okay with the help of all data so that is the expression for that this is the conversion of one globule this is the rtd of the reactor and that's how we can calculate the mean conversion of the reactor so this is one of the simple models which we use okay now next question that there are two reactors MFR and PFR attached in parallel that is its volume is Vm and two PFRs of volume 40 liter and 60 liter the initial concentration was given 1 mole per liter initial volumetric flow rate was 100 liter per minute let us say the volumetric flow rate dividing <coughs> dividing in these two branch is like V naught 1 and V naught 2 ok and the final concentration was 0 0.5 mole per liter and rate constant was given as for the reaction which is taking place 0 0.1 minute inverse it means this is first order reaction from the units we can sim see that and for first order reaction rate expression can be given as Kc ok so now we have to calculate the volume of MFR here ok so how to solve it we can calculate the volume of MFR by using its design equation and for CSTR or you can say MFR the design equation can be written as tau is equal to Vm over V naught 1 is equal to Ca naught minus Ca over minus Re and if you put the values Vm over V naught 1 will be equal to Ca naught minus Ca over Kca. So if you see we have to calculate Vm Ca naught is given 
CA is given, K is also mentioned, but V01 is not there. So we have to calculate V01 here. Okay? And V01 we can calculate by subtracting V02 from this expression. Okay? Because V02 can be calculated easily as we can understand from this expression with the help of PFR because its volume is given. And if you remember that we discussed in the case of PFR in series designing of multiple reactor system that if two or more than two, if n PFR in series are given, n PFR in series, those n PFR can, in series can be replaced by single PFR of same equivalent volume. Because if you know the design performance curve of PFR for positive order reactions can be represented as like this. Okay? And if n PFR in series are there, then the area of first PFR will be like this. For second PFR, for third PFR, for fourth PFR and so on. For n PFR in series, area can be if this is the desired conversion, this will be the area. And a single PFR will also consider the same area to increase the conversion from 0 to XA. So we can say to achieve the desired conversion, the total volume required by single PFR will be same as N PFR in series. Okay? So these two PFR in series can be replaced by a single PFR of 100 liter volume. And for PFR, we know that design equation can be represented as VP over V02, that is integration of minus DCA over minus RA from CA0 to CA. Okay? So VP, and when you put the values, minus RA is KCA, CA0 is 2, CA is 0 0.5. So when you put the values, VP is 100 liter. V02 is unknown and this integration will be 1 over K ln of CA0 over CA because this is CA0 and this is CA. Okay. And when you put the values, K is 0 0.1, CA0 is 2, CA is 0 0.5. So you will get V02 is equal to 14.427 liter per minute. Okay? So, V01 will be V0 minus V02. As we can see, this volume is dividing into two parts. So, it will be 100 minus 14.427. That is... eighty five point five seven three liter per minute. So when you put that value here eighty five point five seven three is equal to two minus zero point five over zero point one into zero point five you will get Vm is equal to eight five five point seven three liter. Okay, so simple that is the answer. Now there was one more question from the heterogeneous reaction system. For pore diffusion control in any observed rate of reaction, there were four co options as I can understand from the data given by the students. For pore diffusion control, there were four co options fast reaction, slow pore size means what will be the re reaction rate and what will be the size, pore size required. Okay. So as we can understand from Thiele modulus, can be written as 
सरफेस रिएक्शन स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ सरफेस रिएक्शन रेट ओवर ओर डिफ्यूजन रेट मल्टीप्लाय बाय कैरेक्टरिस्टिक लेंथ ओके ना वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट पोर डिफ्यूजन कंट्रोल सो जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड डिफ्यूजन विल कंट्रोल द सिस्टम और एनी प्रोसेस ओनली एंड ओनली इफ इट्स रजिस्टेंस इज हाई ओके इफ इट्स रजिस्टेंस इज हाई सो फॉर स्ट्रॉन्ग पोर डिफ्यूजन resistance chile modulus should be greater than 4 why just take one simple example if you want to control some person or like a human your friend something you have to put that person into some restrictions means discipline okay and restrictions means resistance should be high that is a simple meaning okay so for high Thiele modulus, we can see surface reaction rate should be high, and characteristic length should be high as well. So the answer for this system is fast surface reaction and large pore size. Simple. I have one video for on this topic, heterogeneous reaction system, on our YouTube channel. You can see and you can understand the detailed explanation of this topic. there okay so that is all in the cre because we got only four questions till now if you have any other questions from the chemical reaction engineering which was appeared in this exam you, you can send us we will provide the solution to you okay and one more thing i want to tell you that every year there is almost cre have a weightage of 10 to 12 marks and this time very simple and basic question was there in from chemical reaction engineering the only thing was you have to read the question okay and that is the thing because we are so lazy we don't spend so much time and we don't want to read the questions we just want to solve the questions every time just see the question and solve it that is not the approach i have also discussed the same thing in my last video which was posted for the gate 2019 preparation tips that read the question two times and then solve okay i said it earlier as well so if you aap mein se jin logo ne bhi ise do baar read kiya hoga na un sabhi ne aaram se solve kar liye honge unhe cre tough nahi laga hoga aur jo jaldbaazi mein the jinke paas pata nahi kya thodi jaldi thi jinki train chhut rahi thi ya jinhe koi aur urgent kaam tha unhone question theek se padha nahi aur solve nahi kiya unhe definitely tough lag raha hoga maine suna hai kuch log bol rahe hain कि सी आर थोड़ा टफ आया था मुझे तो ऐसा फील नहीं हुआ सारे क्वेश्चन एक बार में सॉल्व हो गए यहाँ पे आराम से हमारे स्टूडेंट से भी हमसे भी ओके थैंक यू वाइज वी विल प्रोवाइड मोर क्वेश्चंस एंड सॉल्यूशंस ऑन डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स एज वेल थैंक यू